hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today from Dublin in Ireland and I have just checked into my hotel, The Alex, which is adjacent to Marion Square, very central in Dublin and guys, the room is amazing. So in this video, I'm going to give you a full review of my stay at the Alex, including a tour of my hotel room. I'm going to try out some of the different amenities in the hotel. This is not sponsored. I'm paying for this myself. I'm here for a wedding this weekend. So without further ado, let's go check out the room. All right, so I am in room number 136, and this is the view when you come in. So we'll go over this in a little bit. We've got a whole closet area on the right. We've got the bathroom on the left, but let's get into the bulk of the room first, because I know that's what y'all want to see. So, wow, I mean, this room is outstanding. I'll leave a little description down below of which style room I booked, but Oh my gosh, this room is absolutely massive. Feels like could be a studio apartment. So first of all, we've got full length mirror. Hello, outfit of the day. Um, a lovely flat screen here on the wall. I mean, I am just dying to jump into this bed. Look how nice that looks. Ooh. Um, so on the bedside, we've got some plugs. Um, I totally forgot they use UK plugs here in Ireland. I brought like all my EU converters, <laughs> not thinking about that. Um, and it's quite cool. You actually also have this as flat as like the built-in headboard, I guess. So that's interesting. But then panning across the room over here, we have got a desk. So I do need to, um, do some things on my laptop. So that's really nice. Love the old school style phone. Is there anything in here? Nope. And then, yep. Oh yeah. So then there also are some EU plugs as well. Cause hilariously I brought my laptop with the EU <laughs> charger, not the UK one. Um, then over here, we've got a little like lounge seating area. I'm probably going to move this table over a bit with a lovely chair, little stool. Um, the window apparently does open, but apparently once it opens, the air conditioning turns off. So fine. Um, I don't actually have much of a view, so to speak. It looks like just an office building on the other side of me. So not a big deal. Um, and then panning over here, in addition to some lovely artwork, we've got some sort of like alarm clock radio situation. Um, and yeah, just some more bits. So let's go check out the closet wardrobe area and then the bathroom. Okay, so this whole area, there's a lot going on. Starting with, we've got some complimentary still water um, right here, which is great. Um, this is my coffee from downstairs. So tea, tea coffee making facility, which is great. Love, you know, UK, Irish um, hotel rooms. This is always a fixture. And we've got some nice looking goodies here with Irish breakfast tea. Very lovely. I'll have to give that a try. I've not tried Irish breakfast tea. Um, we've got some instant uh, decaf and caffeinated coffee. Ooh, these look like some little biscuits. Um, instant hot chocolate and some very snazzy looking coffee mugs. Those are really cute. Um, very nicely put together. Um, we then also actually have a mini fridge in the room, which is great. I'll probably go buy some more water and that comes with some of the just regular whole milk for the coffee and tea. Should you like milk in your tea? Then panning over here, we've got the in-room safe. So, yep, looks pretty standard. Just a little kind of area here and then, oh, hello. We've got dry cleaning options, um, some really large slippers. Actually, the dry cleaning really, usually they price gouge you, but it's like 12 euros for a dress. That's actually really not bad. Hair dryer, which is great. And then 
and yeah, not much else in there. And then just finishing up over here with the wardrobe area, you can see I've already hung my coat up, but there is also an ironing, iron and ironing board, and quite a few hangers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine hangers. That's a really random number. Okay, let's go check out the bathroom. So, yeah, look how pretty this bathroom is. We got the kind of green marble-esque. Look at that massive sink. Really cool, kind of geometrically shaped mirror. I don't remember which geometric shape it is. <laughs> There's six, what's the one with six angles? We've got a little makeup mirror over here. And then I thought this was actually interesting. So instead of giving you those little bottles, you've got these um, little pouches, which I'm guessing is more eco-friendly for shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. Very nice. So obviously we have La Toilette. And then look how cool this shower is. So it doesn't actually, ex it just kind of, doesn't expand more than that. So you've got the controls over here. Really nice area for your things. I'm very particular about that. I like to have all my products easy to reach. And then yeah, we've got that beautiful overhead rain shower with the little handheld as well. And I love the diagonal tiling. That's just really cool. Yeah, so first impressions from the bathroom. Um, really happy with the room it's huge oh i think i'm going to be super comfortable here between the desk area the seating areas the massive bed so much storage and hanging space the mini fridge yeah i'm pretty happy me again i didn't think i would check in again so soon but we've had a little bit of drama <sighs> So I just got a phone call basically saying that I need to change rooms because there's a maintenance issue with the room next door. And it's a bit annoying because I had already completely unpacked. But um, they've offered to upgrade my room and comp my breakfast tomorrow. So let's go see the new room. <laughs> Fingers crossed we like it. Okay, I'm now in room number two. Specifically, 602 is the room number, and it actually looks exactly the same, but I'll give you a little tour around the room. There actually is a little difference or two. All right, so this is room number two, and as you will see, it looks pretty much the same, but I'll point out a few of the subtle differences. So again, it's a lot more light and bright, which is quite nice. Um, it's also a lot hotter up here. I'm really concerned the AC is not working, so I really hope that kicks on. Um, but yeah, the bed down to the artwork looks exactly the same. And please excuse, I just carried all my clothes up the elevator because I just... Ay, ay, ay. Um, but yeah, looks exactly the same. Um, I do have, um, instead of one window, I've got like a whole wall of windows, which is why it's so much brighter. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. And I do feel that the AC is working. It just, maybe because it, it just feels very weak. So we're gonna work on that. Hello. Um, and then I'll show you the other big difference in here, which is um, I have a really lovely Nespresso machine, which is wonderful. So what a treat. Um, and then, yeah, we've got just, you know, some of the capsules to go with that, which is nice. But yeah, I mean, otherwise the, this whole area looks the same. Um, wardrobe is the same. Um, bathroom exactly the same, but there's one other special uh, difference that I need to show you. And, woo, hello lighting. Um, okay, so the difference is that, ooh, all right, so the difference is that because I'm on the sixth floor now, it comes with the perks of this executive lounge between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily, so Let's go check out what that entails. So 
So yeah, this is the executive lounge. Sorry for the door slam behind me. It's so much cooler in here. Oh, my room is really hot. Um, but yeah, really cute little bits of decor. I love this, like, all these little circular windows. Let's see. Get a little view over Dublin. Um, and yeah, just there's a TV in here. But what should be the most exciting part about it is basically you've got all of the free coffee, the free snacks, lots of free crisps, sweet chili, mature cheese and red onion. No red onions in this household. I am allergic. Um, but yeah, red wine. I'm protein bars like I don't know what Broderick's is uh, Belgian chocolate biscuit cake so not protein bars <laughs> cookies <laughs> but they look good um, some like party mix some like sweets and then down here you've got like sodas and Fanta's still in sparkling water um, Looks like some Coronas, uh, basically alcoholic and non-alcoholic beers, and some white wine. So, yay, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, so um, wish me luck with the temperature control in the room. Um, it's such a different climate between here and there. Maybe I'll have to come in here. <laughs> Anyways, nice little unexpected perk. So excuse me while I raid the mini bar for some free snacks, and then I'm back to the room. So I've just given up with the warmth in the room and opened the windows because it's a little chillier in Dublin. And now I'm going to unpack part two. Wish me luck. Hey guys. Anybody notice the change in my voice? I blame the wedding. Irish weddings. They get you every time. So I wanted to wrap up my video on my stay at the Alex. Um, the summary of it is that I have really enjoyed it. This room has been quiet and comfortable. I mean, I've made a proper mess of all the sheets and bedding everywhere behind me. But yeah, I slept really well all of the evenings in this bed. Um, I originally had some concerns the room might be too hot, but thankfully, like every time I left the room, I just closed the windows, made sure the AC was on, and um, it's improved a bit over the stay, um, which is good. Um, I did have some other friends staying here that said they had noise issues due to construction on the other side of the building, but I seem to be on the back side of the building and it's been good. So if that's a concern of yours, you might just wanna check as you're booking. Um, I had one lunch here. I had like a fried egg, basically like a BLT kind of fried egg, uh, bacon, lettuce, tomato with fried egg sandwich. Very good, so super filling. Um, and prices are reasonable. I think the sandwich was like 15 euros and my coffee was like four. So, you know, it's pretty standard for a hotel in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I just, I really loved the hotel. I love um, when you walk in, there's almost like a co-working space kind of area. So if your room isn't ready, you can just get on your laptop and do some research on things to do in Dublin or do some work if you've got to work. Um, really good restaurant facilities. And I didn't get a chance to experience the gym. But yeah, would I stay here again? Absolutely. It For me, it's that mix of like a beautiful design hotel. It's safe. It's quiet and comfortable. Beds, beds and room. I mean, room is massive. You know, shower is, is could use with stronger shower pressure, but shower and bathroom is good. Um, really centrally located in Dublin. You can walk to so much within 10, 15 minutes. So I think it really ticks off a lot of those boxes that one would want when traveling. So um, should I come back to Dublin again, this would be very high on my list of places to stay. So um, leave a comment down below if you have been to Dublin. Let me know where you've stayed or any kind of um, tourist attractions or sites that you've seen. Sharing is caring here on this channel. If you found this video valuable, please hit that like button. That really helps this channel. And if you want to see more of my travel and lifestyle videos, please hit subscribe. There's always more adventures to come. So. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and I will see you soon.